Perfect day. My name's Miraj. I'm Persian, coming from the UK. I've seen so many great miracles in my life happen through the name of Jesus from 2015 till 2022. But still, I wasn't a believer. I was a Muslim. But on July 2022, one day I was sitting on my sofa and I was watching one of a YouTube channel and all of a sudden the channel just switched to a sermon. And then a preacher came in the YouTube in the channel and started preaching. I was just laying down on the sofa and I didn't even care what is being said on the TV. And then soon he said, come to Christ, you shall have eternal life in him. That was the time that the Holy Spirit came upon me. And then the power of God hit me so hard that I was falling on the floor. 10 seconds later, I saw myself, my hands are lifted and crying and full of tears. And for the first time in my life, I'm confessing my sins to Christ and ask him to be my Lord and Savior and wash my sins by his blood. And that was the moment I felt that something just entered me and it was like I'm plugged in. There was electrical shock from my head to toe and I was on the fire. I didn't even know what is happening because I never had an experience. I never been in the Christian community to tell me Holy Spirit is that, is this. And in practical it's now happening to me. But I had such a peace in me that I trusted that feeling till I went to the sleep on that night. And then it was three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. The Holy Spirit again came upon me and he woke me up. The power of God hit me so hard and the fire just came from my head to toes. And then things from my neck, from my leg, from my belly just coming out. And then again, I went back to the bed and then I woke up in the morning a few hours later. I felt so light. And that was the time I knew that I got born again. That was how I came to Christ. I knew that Christianity is the way more than just going to a church or worship song or something like that. Till one day I went to Germany to see my pastor and then on the way back to Manchester, I was at the airport and then I saw one of the videos of Papa John just appeared in my timeline on my Facebook and then I started watching his video and then I knew that our God, our Jesus Christ is powerful. He is powerful. He's, he's the Almighty. But if we cannot use the power or if we don't have the power, it doesn't mean that our God is not powerful. And I started to follow uh, Papa John's teaching and I, I watched the videos until I had an uh, encounter with him in the realm. A few times I had a dream that Papa John appeared in my dream and he laid hand on my head and he imparted me. He, he did impartation on my dream. And on my dream, my, my stomach was jammed and I was I was roaring in my dream so I knew there is more power you know and uh, power comes by holiness and then I started uh, since I started to watching the man of God uh, videos my life transformed uh, now I focus on the holiness the righteousness how I live holy how I live uh, righteous one night the Holy Spirit took me to a warfare and I was in the realm that I saw my grandfather is half dead, half alive. And then I saw a very massive gate front of me. And then all of a sudden I saw Papa John appeared in the realm. And then he helped me to get through the gate. So once we went through the gate and we passed the gate and then we both, me and Papa John, turned into two lions. And once we turned back to see who is our behind and then we started roaring. Me and Papa John together started roaring and roaring and roaring. And then I saw my grandfather who was half dead now is fully alive. And on the same day, uh, I called to my grandparents and I spoke with my grandparents about Jesus. And maybe 10, 15 minutes I preached and I said about the redemption and about the salvation on the same day in 10 15 minutes after i preached they accept christ and then they said that they want to be christian so they accepted jesus as their lord and savior and they received the salvation and from from there i knew this is the right place to be so 
So I was just thinking and praying for God to provide for me to come to the Cape Town. Till uh, 1st of February, I had flight from London from 1st of February. I arrived on 2nd of February on Friday. And then on Sunday, it was anointing service. On the anointing service, I had a paper. He saw the paper and he asked me. The spirit of fear of the Lord, is that what he want? The spirit of wisdom, revelation. And then I said, yes, I want it. And then he anointed me with the oil and then he prayed. I went back to the hotel. I prayed, Lord, you teleport me to the realms of the wisdom. So when sleeping, something just entered me. I didn't resist. And then I woke up and then I saw the vision of the sign, a big sign, which was written on it, number seven. Papa John said number seven is a symbol of completion. So I knew that my prayer is answered. The Tuesday that we had a Bible study, Papa John invited in the altar to share my testimony about my grandparents. I had an impartation on Tuesday when he actually laid hand on me and prayed. I just started roaring. Since then, I know that my spiritual authority elevated. Uh, how do I know? Because the next day I was sitting in the church. One lady called me and uh, she asked me to pray for her daughter, her daughter suffering from depression. And I just suggested that let's pray for her salvation instead of depression. I just su suggested and I didn't even pray. And then I hung up the phone. 15 minutes later, she called me back. And then she said her daughter called her after our conversation. And her daughter said to her mom that I want to give my life to Jesus and I want to become Christian. I was like, wow, if my suggestion in the realms is been elevated this much, then I, I'm, I don't know what to say, how to just express my feelings and my excitement, but I'm just so excited. It's so good. I just thank God for, you know, blessing after blessing since I came here. One day, uh, I was leaving the church and then I booked an Uber. So once the Uber came, and then I was going to the hotel. The Uber driver actually saw my surname because my surname doesn't look like a Christian surname. So he asked me, where are you from? Are you Muslim? I said to him, no, I'm not Muslim. I'm Christian. And then he said to me, wow, but your surname is, is Islamic. And then I told him, yeah, I'm a former Muslim. I was born and raised Muslim. So I started sharing my testimony to him and he was shocked and he was even losing his control on, on driving and then once we arrived to the hotel on a dropping point uh, I saw him started crying and I asked him why what's happened and he said that he was born in a Christian home but he wanted to convert to Islam and he wanted he wanted to become a Muslim next week uh, he had made his decision to convert to to Islam and then God actually has sent me to tell him that, yeah, I'm a former Muslim, came to Christ. You don't have to uh, convert from Christianity to Islam. And that was so wonderful. I always used to think my testimony and my story can help uh, Muslims or people from other religion. But now I realize God actually has opened my eyes that not only my testimony can help to non-believers uh, also can help to those ones who born in a Christian home and they want to uh, actually convert to Islam or to other religion because Christianity, we, we should understand that it's not a religion, it's a relationship and it's a kingdom and we don't need a religion, we need a relationship. At the beginning when I started to watching uh, Papa John video and then uh, in the video the people were roaring, the signs were roaring, Papa John was roaring, 
And I was like, why they are roaring? Uh, I, because I used to think only praying in tongues is okay. Till uh, Papa John was actually teaching about the roaring. And then I started to just give it a try. Till I had that two encounters that my spirit was roaring in the realm. And then I saw how it did impact actually to my grandparents. Even my grandparents got saved by roaring, by spiritual warfare. So I realized that um, spiritual warfare is not just praying in tongues and ask Jesus uh, to come and fight for us. There are battles that we need to fight uh, because we have the authority. We just need to use that authority. Ah, take the arrow. With Go take the Arab war for Yeshua. Amanino, Anikumana, raise the dead, raise the dead. They will not touch you. They can't see you. Thou shall be invisible. Emi, 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 no manisho, Jesus. Efema, 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 Go to the Arab world, take over. Take over. Thy word. Oh no no no! Shut up! The word of God in your mouth. Oh do do! Shut up! Shut up! Shut And I'm just so glad that I found another weapon in the spiritual warfare that it was hidden from me, that is roaring, and I can't wait to get back home and find a place to start roaring.